Hi, welcome to Herbesque Kitchen. My name's Lara, I'm the other member of Herbesque. Uh, this is my first ever recipe video, so go easy on me. Today we're going to be doing our Cajun rice and beans recipe. So, wish me luck. So let's start with the ingredients. We've got 150 grams of sweet corn, 150 grams of rice, two medium-sized carrots, one garlic clove, one vegetable stock cube, one onion, one red pepper, and a 400 gram tin of beans. Now I'm using black beans today, but you can use uh, kidney beans or chickpeas if you prefer, or pinto beans. And also a 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes. And then finally, our Cajun spice, but obviously not forgetting our salt and pepper and a splash of oil. Okay, so to start we're going to chop up our carrot, garlic and onion. So you're going to take your big knife and we're going to just quickly chop it. Now you don't need to peel your carrots, but you can if you want to. And I tend to like to quarter them. Now I'm a bit of a lazy cook, so my cooking is a bit scruffy, um, but I tend to like quite quick meals as well. So this is my ideal, it's just chopping up veg and leaving it in a pot to simmer. Um, so if you're a lazy cook like me, then this is the perfect recipe for you. So we're just going to roughly chop up the garlic. So now we're just going to cut the onion, so this is a useful trick that I learned from Sai, where you keep the root end on when you're chopping, so just cutting back. When you do cut it like this, it comes out in nice little chunks. So this is now ready to be sauteed in the pan. So we're just gonna get our stock pot on. Okay. So we're going to add just a splash of oil And we're literally just going to shove it all in there. We're just going to give it a good stir to get it covered in oil and then we're going to add our Cajun seasoning. Now we've got an extra spicy Cajun seasoning, you can get non-spicy ones um, so we're just going to use maybe half a tablespoon of this to begin with and see how it goes. And then we're just going to give it another good stir again to get it all coated in the spice. So the next thing we're going to do is chop up the red pepper, but just before we do that we're going to boil the kettle, we need to do 300 millilitres of this stock cube. Okay. 
So while the kettle's boiling, um, we're just gonna chop this up and then we'll do our vegetable stock. Okay, so next you're going to get your jug and you're just going to just quickly break up the stock cube. And it's 300 mils. So just give that a quick stir. And then next, we're going to drain and rinse our beans. So we're just gonna pop our beans straight into the pan. We're just gonna give them a quick stir. going to add our vegetable stock. And just mix that in. And then we're going to add the rice. So we're just going to pour that straight in there and then we're going to add the chopped tomatoes. Okay. And then we're just going to stir that all in together. And we're going to leave it to simmer medium to high heat for about 20 to 25 minutes. Just come back and stir every once in a while. Feel free to add some more Cajun spice um, if it's not quite to your taste. Um, and then we'll do our last final steps and it'll be ready to serve. And finally, we're gonna add our red pepper and sweet corn. Slide that in. Okay. I'm just going to tip the sweet corn in. And we're just going to mix it all together. So now's a good opportunity to do a quick taste test and make sure that the rice is fully cooked. So I'm just going to add a little bit more Cajun spice, um, just because I think it could do with a little bit extra. It's not too spicy. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper as well. And then we're just going to mix it all together. Now I'm just going to leave that for another two minutes. 
Um, just to let the sweet corn obviously defrost and kind of absorb some of the uh, taste of the spices. So we'll just leave that for two minutes. So it's now all finished. So we're ready to serve. I'm just going to grab two bowls. So we're just going to get a nice amount onto each plate. Now we tend to use this recipe when we're camping. Um, it's a really good one because it means A, less washing up. Uh, and also it's really good if you've been out doing like a hike or anything if you're a bit cold because it will warm you right up. Uh, also good for meal prep as well. So if you tend to take in lunches that you can reheat or even have cold, this is ideal. So this typically gives us four servings um, or two generous ones. And voila, we are done. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please remember to like and subscribe and leave any feedback in the comment section down below. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.